Hello, good morning, it's Phil Thatch and I am in downtown Chattanooga doing a photo walk and today I have my new R6 Mark II with the 24 to 105 F4L lens on it. And I'm just walking around town to see if there's anything interesting to photograph. I don't know if you would call this street photography or a photo walk, maybe a little bit of both. I'm over here by the baseball stadium, which I never walk around in this area but that's where I ended up that's where I found a parking place so I'm gonna walk around and see what I can find this is AT&T Field and it's where the Chattanooga Lookouts play it's a minor league team I'm not sure if I've ever even been to a game here maybe I have but it's been years and here's something really crazy AT&T Field is is right near the river you may even be able to see the Tennessee River over there in my shot but while I've been here walking around the baseball stadium I've seen a flock of nine American white pelicans so high up you can barely see them and right over there is a bald eagle soaring right now above the Tennessee River how crazy is that and the longest lens I have is 105 millimeters or uh, yeah 105 millimeters so I don't guess I'll be getting a photograph of that bald eagle, but there's definitely one there. Correction, it's actually two bald eagles, full adult, white head, white tail, flying around right there. How crazy is that? Oh, I wish I had my 800 millimeter lens. Here's a video clip I made of the two bald eagles flying around, and this is at 105 millimeters on the full frame R6 Mark II. And look how tiny they are in the frame. They were so small in the frame, in fact, that autofocus couldn't catch them. I had to manually focus to bag this shot. I've left the baseball stadium and I'm hanging around, uh, just kind of making my way down Chestnut Street. And I've always thought every time I've seen this parking garage, but I've never really seen it this up close or not many times, I've always thought that it's just, holy cow, how does this thing hold a vehicle? I mean, look at it. There's not a lot to it. And there's cars parked all up there. It's crazy. Finally, some photographs from this photo walk. This is the bottom of a parking garage, and this is a block long drive through where the electric shuttles that carry people around Chattanooga go through and pick people up and drop them off. And I made a photograph of these gentlemen as they walked by and they waved at me. This shot was just kind of a snapshot. I was crossing the crosswalk and this grand old trolley was going by and I made the shot and I ended up liking it because you can see the driver really well. And of course I love to make photographs of pedestrians as they're crossing the road and I thought this had a lot of sun and shade and contrast. And here's another uh, gentleman walking, smoking a cigarette and checking out his cell phone. I like the long shadow in this shot. His shadow is longer than he is. Still making my way down Chestnut Street. I'm kind of struggling to be honest with you. But I, you know, of all the things, I, I thought this uh, fire device was interesting, especially with the interesting bricks in the background of this building. I'm right across the street from Second Presbyterian Church. I've walked probably six or seven blocks so far. This shot ended up being one of my favorites of the whole day. I just like the way that old rusty wheel looks and I love the bricks in the background somewhat bokefied at f5.6. Still kind of struggling along and I found this beautiful yellow tree. It's December 1st and this tree is still has probably 60 or 70 percent of its leaves on them and they are a beautiful bright yellow and I started making some photographs of it first from the other side with the sun in the background maybe trying to get a sun start through the tree and then I came over to this side and I didn't really like what I was getting and I said you know what I'm going to try some intentional camera movement so I slowed my shutter speed down to 1 50th and uh, closed my aperture up to f16 and made a few shots moving the camera really quickly and it turned out that the shots that I was getting of the tree I didn't like that much but the shots of this little fence down here at the bottom with some leaves at the bottom of it turned out kind of interesting how weird is that
Here is the tree shot with the starburst. I was stopped down to F16 for this one also. So this is the first starburst that I've attempted to make with my new 24 to 105 F4L. And here is the intentional camera movement shot, 1 50th of a second. So I was really moving the camera quickly. And I just caught that part at the bottom of the tree as kind of a follow through. And it was my favorite of the shots. Here's another uh, people walking on the street. I love those bright red bricks in the background there at the back entrance of the easy bistro and bar and this is a parking place in the middle of broad street which has a big median and parking in the middle but this gentleman was waiting for traffic to clear before he opened the passenger side of his car to get in i found a pretty cool parking garage to photograph i wonder how long this thing's been here and i've never even noticed it i photographed these ramps from the outside as you can see here and then i tiptoed inside and got a shot of the inside of the circular ramps. I really like the look of this old parking garage, the concrete, and I just thought it looked really cool. And I made another uh, parking garage photo similar to this with the R7 in another video, but this is a different garage than that one. And it looks especially cool from inside of these circular ramps. Just a really neat thing to photograph. Now this shot, I wish I had not zoomed all the way to 105 millimeters. I would have liked to have been a little bit wider of this gentleman riding one of the electric bicycles across an intersection. And here is another, this is also the median of Broad Street. This gentleman was walking and smoking his uh, vapor thing and listening to some music on his headphones. I made it back to my car, but I still have about 20 minutes left on the parking meter. So I'm gonna wander around a little further down Chestnut Street towards the river. I really only got one more photograph that I liked even just a little bit. This shot of these light bulbs, it must be pretty bright because it was broad daylight and you could still see that they were illuminated. Well, I have made it back to the car with the R6 Mark II and the 24-105F4L. And I enjoyed the shoot. I enjoyed the walk. Um, I really don't think this lens has enough focal length for me for street photography. I really prefer the R7 with the 18 to 150 kit lens more because it has way more range. And I know some of you do street photography with a single prime, but that would drive me crazy. I like to have a lot of range. And I, I still think I got some interesting shots. I wasn't really feeling it today as much as I wish I was, but hopefully you enjoyed it. And I appreciate you watching. If you like the content, thumbs up is always appreciated. If you want to see some more, subscribe and hit the bell. Thanks. Bye-bye.